We're here in the Sprint Center in Kansas City for the Phillips 66 Big 12 Men's Basketball Championship. I'm Wendell Barnhouse, joined by Skylar Thomas, and we're going to take a look at the championship game between Kansas and Iowa State. Uh, Skylar, these two teams split the regular season series, each winning on their home court, and tonight should be a rocking atmosphere here in the Sprint Center because these two fan bases are going to be packing this arena. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's going to be a huge game. It, again, we, we've talked about this all week, and I think a lot of people have wanted to see this game. You know, the two best teams in the Big 12 with a lot of great players out there on the floor. I mean, it's, it's going to be an exciting matchup. One of those stars you mentioned, Kansas has got their leading scorer back, Perry Ellis. He came back to play against Baylor. What do the Jayhawks need to do against the Cyclones? Well, they, they need to, you know, control the pace and the tempo of the game, something that Texas did very well in their matchup. Um, so they need to be able to utilize their bigs, obviously Perry Ellis being a, a big portion of that. But, you know, you're going to need to get some production out of, of Trailer and Lucas, um, as well as, you know, uh, the Kelly Oubre performance against TCU. He needs to be able to attack and take the ball off the dribble. You saw a lot of that OU uh, being able to, you know, draw fouls, get into the bonus, the double bonus, and, and earn some, some points from the free throw line there. So I think, you know, on KU's side of the ball, they need to be able to get control that tempo and you know kind of slow the the machine that that is Iowa State. Well as you mentioned uh, Iowa State has overcome those slow starts against Texas and Oklahoma. The Oklahoma game was tied at halftime. Now what's the reason for the Cyclones you think being able to have those strong second halves after kind of struggling in the first half? Well, I think it's they, you know, regardless of the scenario, they're, they're the same team, you know, whether they're down 20, whether they're up 20, you know, they, they're running the same sets, they're shooting the same shots, you know, they're not panicked or, or rushed or anything like that. And so they, they execute and, you know, you give a lot of credit to their head coach, Fred Hoiberg, who, you know, who draws up these amazing sets and, you know, and they, their players execute. There's a lot of confidence from, from one to eight, you know, they have a, you know, they have eight or nine guys that play a lot of minutes and, you know, any one of them feels like if they're called upon to take that game winning shot, they'll do it. Okay, well, it's number one seed Kansas against number two seed and defending champion Iowa State coming up at 5 p.m. Central on ESPN. For Skylar Thomas, I'm Wendell Barnhouse for the Big 12 Digital Network.